We just want to say a big thank you to all the wonderful volunteers at the Alan Hudson Day Treatment Centre. We also miss those who haven't been able to return yet. Thank, thank you, thank so, you much. so much. On behalf of the fundraising team, I'd like to say thank you to all our volunteers who have been with us over the past year um, and also to say that we're really missing everybody we've not been able to see um, and we can't wait for events to get back up and running again and to have your help and support as you have done over previous years. Fingers crossed this will be very soon. Thank you again for everything that you do. Your support to the whole charity means the world to us. Hi all, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of our fantastic volunteer gardeners for all the work they've done getting the gardens to look as good as they have this year. Really appreciate all your help and all your support. So I just would like to say thanks once again from all of us at Arthur Rank. We'd like to say thank you to the retail volunteers, especially through this last difficult year. Um, the last year showed us how resilient and adaptable our fabulous volunteers are. Um, we've had um, shop volunteers and eBay volunteers um, help with the lateral flow testing. Um, we've had volunteers come over from the bistro, reception, um, lymphedema, a gar volunteer gardener who have come over um, to the retail hub to help us um, with all our online sales and sorting donations um, while their roles haven't been available. Um, and we're not letting them come back because they're brilliant and we want to keep them. <laughs> um, but thank you to everybody. We'd like to thank those also who haven't returned um, yet. And we'd hope that now everybody's having their second vaccine, that they'll um, slowly start to come back um, and things can get back to normal. But thank you, everybody, for all your support in the last year. Thank you. Bye. T is for tea making. H is for happy. A is for always helpful, N is for nice to give up your time, K is for kindness, Y is for yummy cakes, O is for our heroes, you are all amazing, B is for vases of flowers, O for our team, L is for lovely gardens and U is for you make a difference. N is for nighttime receptionist, T for telephone answering. E is for empathic and E is for the extra mile. R is for really caring, S for supporting staff and patients. Thank you very much volunteers from all the all inpatient, inpatient unit, unit staff. Volunteers on behalf of the Living Well Service, brackets formerly day therapy, um, just wanted to say to you all how much everything you do for the Living Well Service is really appreciated, particularly over the past year where you've continued to support us, whether that's been um, in supporting us in a virtual offer or via telephone calls to our patients with the Caring Communities Scheme. It has just been amazing what you have done to support us to continue to support all our patients. Also, really looking forward to the fact that we're hopefully going to be having more of you coming back in as we start to open up our services, because we, so, we as clinicians are really looking forward to seeing all our patients face to face again. And obviously you will be very much part of that um, and we'll be hearing more about that soon. We've missed you so much, those of you that we haven't had contact with and we really look forward to seeing you. Thank you from all of us here at Living Well. I would just like to say a real big thank you to all of our volunteers here at the Allen Hudson Centre and also at the Arthur Rank. We are so lucky to have you. And without you, we couldn't do what we do. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Have a great week.
My name's Chris and I'm the coordinator for the Care and Community Scheme at Arthur Rank Hospice. I'd like to take this opportunity in National Volunteers Week to thank all of those volunteers that have supported patients over the past year with weekly telephone calls. Some of you joined the Care and Community Scheme from the start. Some of you came forward during the lockdown to support people who weren't able to access services elsewhere. And I thank you all in whatever capacity you've helped out. I'd like to share with you some of the feedback that we have gained from the patients on exactly what the scheme has meant to them. And I know how much they have valued the support over the past year, particularly some of those who have felt particularly isolated um, by the climate that we found ourselves in. And I'd like to just finish by saying thank you on behalf of all of our patients um, for the amazing support you have given to them. Thank you on behalf of all the staff at Arthur Rank who completely value the service that you are providing to those patients. And a personal thank you from me. It has been an absolute pleasure working with you all and I look forward to the next year. Thank you. Hi everybody, happy National Volunteers Week. We just wanted to say a huge thank you. I think you can see from this video exactly how well appreciated everything you have done over the past year has been by the charity. You have flexed and made difficult decisions. We've moved you around, you've volunteered in different places, doing very different things. And without you, we really couldn't have offered the support that we've been able to continue offering to our patients and their loved ones. So an enormous thank you for all of your support and flexibility over the past year. Happy National Volunteers Week from myself, Tina and Chris.